Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody doing today at YouTube? It's the man, Charles. All right, got some more of my eBay doorstep drop-offs in. I got, uh, so we got some Master Universe Revelation Triclops. Now, I've seen some images of him floating around alongside a trap jaw in the, um, the Orlor, and the uh, Orco 2-pack, which I just got into. I'll do a review on that. Uh, with the Revelations cartoon. He looks pretty cool, I gotta say. He looks something between the... I don't know, like a little bit of the classics, the 2000X look, you know, and the, whatever show, exactly like the show anyway. What's cool, and it's cool they gave it a box set because, personally, I just wanted the more vintage look. But it, that they do give him his uh, vintage, his, um, the clan leader robe, that clan attire, and, you know, comes with the spare head with the clan hood. I guess it's supposed to represent a hood, that high hat or whatever that was in the show. All right, here's the back art if you're interested in that. Yeah, you know, the Revelations has its own unique art. Um, I like the uh, Origins better, you know, the, just going back old school vintage, but and there's the uh, bio. All right, and there's a little teaser. So I got Savage, he and Orko 2-pack. Um, they look really cool, too. I like, especially the Orko. I like I like his design. I'm just the axe that comes with it. he looks unique, but I'll get to reviewing as soon as I can as this as well. Now, um, if my voice don't sound good, I'm... I just... My wife has coronavirus real bad. She's getting over it, but now I think I got it. I had a fever, chills... Having a hard time breathing. I can't talk right. So I'm trying to do the best I can. I just want to get something out there and just get out and do a review. But uh, if you wonder why I sound weird, on top of always sound weird, that's uh, that's what's going on. But anyway, I just want to show these guys. So back to Triclops. So yeah, let's get this guy out of the box and we're going to check him out. All right, got him out of the package. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. I'm liking him. Um, You know, he looks very reminiscent of a vintage or a, kind of a filmation Triclops. Um. Really surprised in the back. He doesn't have no place for a sword. Like every, every like whether it was the vintage or the classics, always had that. But he don't. He doesn't. I don't. I don't remember the cartoon. He, I remember seeing him flying around a sky sled, sled in the scene. I don't remember. But um, side that he looks. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. And that skin has a almost looks like an orange tint under my light. But it, it could just be. It just looks like a dark tan. It was. I think Triclops was. I think the vintage too had a darker tan. But it's just. It's just something with the factory paint. But otherwise, I like him. All right, so let's bring him in for a closer look, right? We got his infamous uh, vintage head on. It's um, it looks cool. He's got his visor. It has a lot of unique technical sculpting in it, like um, something like the two thousand X. And that's why I always, in my opinion, compare these revelations to. There's something between the classics two thousand X and wrong thing. Um, yeah, but the visor spins. Well, kind of tight, mine, but. It's got the circular eye. They're real small, but they have it's it's pretty neat paint in it. There's no it's not like red or white, like the vintage or blue. Just all um very reminiscent of filmation reminds me. I think they're all white, but just square, right? More of a triangular and then a circle. So he has that. That's pretty cool. Uh the head too is on um, you know, if you're not familiar with or typical articulation. Real well, real good for all that. And then that's the back. Alright, the armor too. It's um yeah, it's a little bit of redesign. I like it, though. I like the little gold spikes here. It's kind of a... It's a decent type of plastic. It's not too hard, but it's not too soft kind of thing, you know? Um, now, as far as the arms... Now, the arms are interesting to me. They're like... They seem... It's, it's your typical just buck and arms. You've seen with all the revelations, but they have a different... Up here has more of a mechanical... I think both sides. I, I guess that would make sense for Triclass, but yeah, like a little mechanical sculpt. Even here might... Uh, look a little different in the He-Man arms, I think, but pinless joint, same thing on the elbow, okay, bring the arms all the way forward, all the way out, and everything we've seen before, shoulders, biceps, swivel, okay, um, hands, and they're, um, no, it comes with two sets, these are pre-posed, and then they can have a ball joint to go in and out, so, all right, we got our ab crunch, now he still has, even with the arm, it is kind of hinder, he's not, you know, you're not going to move it too far, but, and it obviously can't spin, you can't, there's the ab cup, but he's not going to, with with the armor on, but you do have it in the waist. Um, yeah, your typical belly, soft loincloth, legs too. They have these these weird splits up in the thigh, pinless joints in the knees go all the way back, forward. Okay, legs go all the way. I could do a full split, like so. So excellent range of flexibility. Who can spin? And same thing with the in a good articulation of feet, just a ball. So yeah, these guys are. Yeah, and that's the back. You haven't seen it, okay? Uh, I like that cut batter. The classics had this big, big, you know, these like real nasty gaps. I never liked that, but I like this how the revelations are cut. But yeah, pretty neat. Right, it comes with his iconic sword. Yeah, really neat. Nice uh, silver blade. Looks a lot like the vintage almost. Just the design, but a little more you know, modernized for the revelation line. But all right, I've set him up with a sword in hand. Right, get him in a good pose. Um, 
I usually use figure stands on rotating on the base, but he's standing pretty good. Joints are really tight, and even with that offset, he's not like falling over. Knees are giving out. I like that. That's really, really good design with this particular triclot with this figure. Right, as far as accessories, so he comes with two other open hands and interchange. And here's his clan, his alternative uh, visor with that clan hood. Um, so there's a little close up on it. Now these hoods, they don't. I tried on the other one. They don't seem to come off. It thought maybe it'd be like a how he's blind underneath or something like that. But they don't. At least mine don't. Well, it's kind of looks like you're curious. Um, take a close look while we have it off. Yeah, this doesn't. And the visor. Let me see. Um, spins on this too. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Circle. This one's um, it's pretty cool. Aside, I don't care for that hood thing, but uh, I like the different color visor and the eyes. It's just the design's a little different. They're painted it. Well, they're just painted different. It looks like. All right, we got the clan robe. Um, tell you what, man, they give you a nice job with this. A lot of uh, well, it is a deluxe figure, right? You would expect, but yeah, soft. Just a soft material for the cape all of this um all like just everything for the gown part pieces yeah really nice okay and this is i guess the whole gown piece that goes over it goes up to the shoulders all the way down to the to his feet so and that too is nice material it's got a velcro kind of like snap i guess it from the back oh well, let's let's take so let's get all his pieces off so it looks like so we'll pop the head off okay that's easy pop right off i get the sword out of hand we'll start setting them up a little bit See how all this comes off. All right. And it looks like the armor. All right. We got a piece there like so. And we'll check this out too, the buck. You're curious. All right. So, yep. Just typical He-Man buck. So, this is the whole gown robe. I'm going to call it that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It slides up through the feet first. And then it um, seems like these will go over to each shoulder. Again, with the armor head off, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. I feel like I'm dressing up my wife going out. <laughs> All right, that's going to uh, go crawl like so. All right, so that's how that part goes on. All right, so here's the upper party, I guess the clan gown armored. <laughs> now, I'm just guessing this, by the way. There's no directions. I mean, it's pretty, you know, obvious, but okay, pop that. Open like so, very similar to his armor. It uh, looks like this is going to slide over the neck piece. All right, okay, here we go. Pop this back here. All right, so well, you get the idea. So I'm going to put it all together. We'll pop the head on. We'll come back to this. All right, we got them all dressed up. All right, ready to go to church or dinner at Snake Mountain? <laughs> um, I got to be honest. It looks pretty cool. It's not the way I would normally position <coughs> my triclops. I had something different about it, though, in person. Like, you know, I thought in a cartoon it was it was interesting. But uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I like it. Um... Let's bring him in. So let's see how the articulation works for all this stuff on now. All right, so yeah, put the sword in hand, obviously. Uh, get that out. Um, all right, so yeah, the head, wow. Spins all around, left to right, the whole deal. Look down, look up. Okay, so even with this upper piece on, arms are all the same. We'll do this arm. Arms are all the same, rotation, all that. Yeah, excellent articulation. Now, obviously, the legs are going to be hindered from the bottom. I mean, why would he do that in that attire? But for the most part, you could still... Okay, uh twist and does have the ab crunch and can the knees bend okay knees can bend all the way back so that's pretty neat for what you know if you want to set your triclops up in uh <laughs> clan mode or something and just a closer look at the material too so we're, we already looked at the gown piece we know that's cloth material and so is this like cape but this too is all just check out all the, really nice detail in these like the, these are all flexible it's all plastic yeah really just nice job on it all pretty neat piece and just kind of moves up and down like that. So, all right, we're going to change the hands out too. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to mess around here a little bit. So, I, I'm going to leave this whole attire on. And we just put the regular triclops, see what that looks like, the head on. And then, the, if you're not familiar too, the, these are the open hands. The religious hands. Or karate chop hands, I call them. Wow, these are really tight. That's how they pop in. Curious about that. All right, we got his religious mode. So, I took his uh, hat off. Or his other, changed out his other head with his hands up. All right. Bow to me, ask for forgiveness. <laughs> I sort of mixed things up. I took that lower gown part off and I put the upper, the second part of the armor on, the Colt armor, and I kept the regular triclops head on and put the obviously hand with the sword, uh, the closed hand with the sword in. Um, I, that looks pretty cool in itself. You don't want to wear that. It looks like just another triclops or different armor. I like that. All right, we just put the clan head on with the hood without, same thing, left the row off, kept this upper part of the armor on. Um, yeah, pretty again, his own thing. Different, neat. Uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna display my try. I just I like this regular head. 
for me, this is just nostalgia, but that is different. I don't, I don't mind it. It is, it's, got, it's kind of got its own thing going. I'm wrap the video up, do a little comparison fun. So we got our, uh, Origins Triclops next to our Revelations Triclops. I want to show you too. Now the pegs are the same for the uh, Origins and Revelations. So this is obviously the Revelations Triclops head on the Origins figure. It really works well. Doesn't look bad either. So the color's a little off, but yeah, check that out. All right, we got the Origins Triclops head, obviously on a Revelations body. Um... Yeah, it could work. It doesn't. It's not too bad, you know. Sometimes it's just the neck looks a little weird, but when it's down like that, it ain't bad, and the color's off, but it uh, rotates. It uh, it could work. It's not not terrible. <laughs> it's a cold leader head on the uh, origins. Yeah, it looks really goofy. I don't think the pink can even go down, but yeah, it kind of works. All right, we got the Revelations Triclops against the 2000 X Triclops. If anybody's curious. All right, we'll do our Revelation Triclops. We're going against the Filmation Tri Super Seven Filmation Triclops. All right, so my, uh, yeah, weird comparison to my Classics Triclops and Revelation. I really like the Revelation, but nothing's going to beat the Tricl uh, the uh, Classics Triclops. I mean, you know, now the heads wouldn't work. Totally different ball pegs. Um, colors are different anyway. The, if you were to, the armors would probably work. I've noticed that with the Classics and the Revelations. The, a lot of this, the different equipment works. Um, and these guys are, I always keep mine in cars. They're really expensive, and you, they're just so hard to find now. But, uh, yeah, nothing's going to be... I get a lot of it on my channel. People really love the... Re like the Rev shouldn't say love, but like the Revelations or hate them. And they make comparison against the Classics. Uh, listen, Classics are always going to be number one for me. I have them all. So, I don't mind different versions or styles. That's why I go with the Revelations. Um, I didn't care for all the cartoon, all the part, a lot of it. Some of it I didn't mind, a lot I didn't. That's just me. But I do really like the figures. Now, the other argument would be... Well, it does... Um, so, I'm going to bring a skeleton. This is... I have a Classic Skeletor... Armored off. Now the other arg the other argument would be, well, how does a clan leader robe fit? Now obviously I don't have my triclops out, but let's try it. same you know same buck and everything with Skeletor. And why not make Skeletor a clan leader? Let's see what he looks like. So let me dress him up with all that stuff, and we'll come back to that. All right, we got Skeletor all done up with the triclops as clan robe, the whole deal. <laughs> I gotta admit that looks pretty cool, and I got the terror claws on him. Yeah, I like that. That's the uh, that's the church I want to go to with the minister. <laughs> it works great though. Fits right on. Pop the head. That's that's a pretty cool version of Skeletor. I might even leave Triclops with just his regular um, the Revelation one with this stuff on. Use my spare Skeletor with that. I'm liking that. All right, to wrap up this review, um, I think he's pretty cool. I to give you uh, just the different accessories alone. If you want like a Colt version of him, or you really like that in a cartoon, it's, I mean, it's perfect. It just in a way everything fits. You you can work on the classics. Um, like I did on my Skeletor, which is really I'm, like I said, I'm gonna probably set my spare Skeletor up with that set, and leave Triclops Triclops because it's just a you know the the vintage thing for me, but um, even this, I, I like the redesign. Not gonna beat the classics, but if you don't have the classics and you wanted a um something close to it, you know, in the Triclops or a cartoon accurate, uh, it's he's perfect. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, hope you had a good Christmas and a New Year, and hope your New Year's uh, stay healthy. Trying to get sick with this stuff, and I uh, appreciate your subscriptions and all your comments, and hope to answer any questions with this guy. And until next time, take care.